This is MB Now, and here are your news on web. President Rodrigo Roa Duterte has ordered authorities to run after people behind the reported sale of coronavirus vaccines in the country. Duterte issued the directive to vaccine czar Carlito Galvez Jr. during the Talk to the People last night, August 17. The coronavirus vaccines currently available in the country are so far given emergency use authorization which does not call for commercial sale and distribution. Galvez promised to continue to coordinate with the police and military in the crackdown on the illegal sale of COVID-19 vaccines. Meanwhile, President Duterte renewed his call for Filipinos to get their COVID-19 jobs, saying that the coronavirus might be there to stay for years. The president urged Filipinos to continue wearing masks and having limited social contacts. President Duterte rejected once again the resignation of Health Secretary Francisco Duque III after the latest report of the Commission on Audit over agencies' deficiencies in the use of 67.3 billion COVID-19 funds. The chief executive criticized the state auditors instead for releasing the report because it becomes gospel truth. He said, It is not fair to people like Duque who have been working, toiling in the country's pandemic response. Duterte said he will not allow any of his cabinet officials to steal even 1,000 pesos, adding that he's not only promising to protect the people, People, but also the public's coffers. Meanwhile, Duterte has ordered Duque to prioritize the release of benefits due to the country's health workers if there's enough government money. Duterte told Duque to ignore the commission and audit, pay the incentives for health workers as well as proceed with the purchase of medicines needed in the fight against the pandemic. The warm winds coming from the Pacific Ocean will be the dominant weather system across the country, Pagasa said this morning, August 17. Cloud skies with scattered rain, showers, and thunderstorms may prevail over Visayas, Caraga, Northern Mindanao, and Zamboanga Peninsula in the next 24 hours. Meanwhile, Metro Manila and the rest of Luzon and Mindanao will have partly cloudy to cloudy conditions in the morning with chances of rain showers in the afternoon or evening. United States President Joe Biden on Monday defended the withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan, which prompted panic in Kabul with thousands mobbing the airport in a desperate attempt to flee. The U.S. ensured the safe evacuation of embassy staff as well as Afghans who work as interpreters or in other support roles. Other governments including France, Germany, and Australia also organized charter flights. The Taliban sought to reassure the international community that Afghans should not fear them, with co-founder Abdul Ghani Baradar saying the militants need to show that they could serve our nation and ensure security. Biden issued a stern warning to the insurgents, saying any threats to U.S. interests would be met with a devastating military response. China was the first major nation to flag support for the Taliban, stating it was ready for friendly relations. Both Russia and Iran also made diplomatic overtures. The United Nations Security Council said on Monday, the international community must ensure Afghanistan does not become a breeding ground for terrorism under the Taliban following an emergency meeting in New York. Embattled Chinese-Canadian pop star Chris Wu, a former member of K-pop boy band EXO, has been arrested in China following his detention on suspicion of rape. Chris Wu's arrest was ordered after he was detained by Beijing Police's Chaoyang District last July 31 on allegations of rape. According to an online report, Wu repeatedly deceived young women to have sex and is suspected of rape after police investigation. If Wu is convicted of rape, he may be sentenced to 10 years to life in prison and after serving his sentence, he will be deported back to Canada. The Bureau of Internal Revenue has issued a memorandum dated August 16 with the subject taxation of any income received by social media influencers. This after the BIR received reports that there are social media influencers that are not registered with the BIR and are not paying their income taxes despite earning huge income from the different social media platforms. The social media influencers are advised to voluntarily and truthfully declare their income and pay their corresponding taxes without waiting for a formal investigation by the BIR and to avoid being liable for tax evasion. Members of the Philippine Paralympic team are drawing inspiration from their national team counterparts when they compete in the Tokyo Paralympics from August 24 to September 5. Six Pinoy para-athletes are set to represent the country in Tokyo where they will compete in swimming, taekwondo, athletics, and powerlifting. The Pinoy Paralympians met with the Pinoy Olympians via Zoom to share their experiences during the Games. Para trackster Gerald Mangliwan has been designated as the team flag bearer in the opening ceremony, while para swimmer Ernie Gawilan will carry the flag in the closing event. The team is set to leave for Tokyo on August 22. 
And those are the news on web. For more news and updates, follow our official social media pages or log on to www.mb.com.ph. Be fully informed.